What's up guys, my name is Eric and you're watching 31 Accounting and if you're new to this channel, what we like to do is do unboxing and product reviews, so check it out. Today we're going to be looking at Timu. I know you guys heard of it before because if you have TikTok or any kind of social media, they have been flooding your streams with ads and telling you, hey, you can shop like a billionaire, which I thought was kind of ironic for the prices but we'll get into that a little bit later right now i want to tell you what i first thought when i when these started to flood my social media i started thinking of wish and i did a few videos on wish wish was products that looked like they were cheap uh and they would never work but still they were so cheap that you just had to buy them and try them out and normally you got probably one or two good uses out of them uh but this is slightly a little bit different uh, one of the biggest things that I noticed that was different between Timu and Wish was I literally got my package within two weeks. It's a lot more professional. Whereas Wish, when I ordered products from them, I was just surprised when they showed up. Like it'd be so long uh, past that it'd be like maybe two months, three months later. And then all of a sudden I have a package out front and it's what I ordered. And then I opened it up and I realized that I ordered the most useless toy <laughs> ever and it didn't even work so in, in some ways it was like a surprise christmas but then it was a surprise christmas that was i don't know paid for by a hobo i don't know so right uh without any further ado i ordered a lot of products mostly things that i thought that i could use just in case they were on the safer side so not a lot of tech just some stuff that seemed fairly useful in my day-to-day -day life and uh also, one of the things that I tend not to buy on any of these discount sites is uh, clothes. Apparel in general, normally they don't have sizes large enough for me. Uh, I'm about a 3X, 4X because I like my shirts a little bit more baggy. But I wear a 3X and normally these sizes are not even American sizes. Uh, the first thing that popped out when I did get the shipping though is where it came from. Now, most people, we, we hear about these products and like they're from China you know all cheap and I'm sure they still are but these were delivered from I guess shopping or not shopping drop centers or distribution centers this one's from uh, New Jersey the other ones from Rancho Cucamonga in California uh, they gave me up-to-date shipping on when things were coming out I got these like two days different time oh and if they do not deliver in the time that they say they will give you a credit i got a five dollar credit because one of my packages did not get here in time so first thing out of this bag are shoes for me now these smell like straight paint but i had to get some of these bootleg yeezys i don't care these are just gonna be worn around the house or or when i'm in the garden or whatever but I just needed something that looked super crazy that actually was my size. And looking at them, I think they're giant enough to be my size. Uh, but they smell like straight paint. So <laughs> I don't know how comforting that is. Also bought some shoes for from the kiddos. So I got this for my daughter or my wife, whoever gets first did. These are just lounging house shoes. I think you can see a little better. There and zip. So I kind of like the packaging, but look at that. So this is what it looks like, just print. These are pretty light. So there's gonna be little good house shoes to wear. I think that's gonna really work out good for the kiddo or the wife. Like I said, they wear the same size shoes. My daughter is so tall. So my wife and my daughter wear the same size shoes. So whoever gets first dibs on what gets these, open this one too. I'm gonna show uh, at the end like a price layout of how much all this stuff costs. Cause these are very inexpensive shoes, but this feels like just foam. So I'm sure they're comfortable to wear, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust myself to go on the dance floor or anything crazy in these. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. So this right here focus 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 this is one of those rebag sealers i had to get something so i buy chips every now and then or stuff that's that i use let me see, see if you see that good 
So I, I buy stuff like, you know, if you buy bags of chips or if you buy, say, you know, frozen food and you open up the frozen vegetables or fruits, reseal it. This is what this is supposed to do. So, I, like I said, I bought things that I thought I could use, not just cool things. This is for our car. So this little gadget, actually I have a really big one. It's for like dog hair. I like to take my dog out and this is gonna be good to keep in my truck so I can get the dog hair out of it. I have a German Shepherd. You gotta see her, see her in a video all the time. This is a spray bottle. Cause I got locks, I gotta take care of my hair so my wife doesn't beat me. She doesn't beat me, she loves me. But I'm gonna list all the prices. So don't worry about how much everything costs. Trust me, I, all the haul, everything together was maybe $50. Maybe a little more, a little less, but around $50. But I don't want to really get into the quality of stuff. I'm just really looking at the build. And some of these things I already know work because I, I have something similar. Uh, this fell out my bag. Oh, this is, this is a makeup pouch. So... I know when I first watched this, I watched a, a channel by this lady named Joy. I'm going to put her link up uh, so you guys can go look at her video. But she bought a lot of makeup products. And I really wasn't going to buy anything from, from this. I uh, probably shouldn't put my mouth on this plastic. <laughs> but she bought a lot of makeup products. It tastes funny too. Yeah, don't do not do that, guys. I have a knife, and I just did the most silly thing ever. This feels actually pretty good. I got a robe that's kind of this material. But, so she bought a lot of products. There was makeup and stuff like that. So I kind of got to see that everything she got, there was a discount. Like, it was it was a, more affordable. But also, there was useful. She thought they were pretty decent products. So that's a makeup brush. There's a whole set in here for my wife. If she chooses to use it. If not, I only spent like dollars on it. I'll just give it away. Maybe give it to my daughter to use. We're on the second box already. I'm trying not to really draw this video out. I know some people will take a break right here and then insert. Hey, guys, I'm shopping with so-and-so. I'm not going to do that. You guys just want to see that I got the same stuff that I ordered. And I can tell you the first thing I really want to pick out. Ah, these muscles are fake. <laughs> the first thing I really want to pick out was something for my daughter, and I think this is it. And I think it's completely smashed, which is upsetting because this was actually the first thing that I picked out to order. And this is the, the way the box looks destroyed. This is actually, it looks destroyed and open. Okay, so guys, this really took a turn for the worse. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally open already. This was a bubble gun. Bubble gun. So my daughters go crazy for bubbles. And I don't even know what color. Okay, it's supposed to be purple. But my daughters go crazy for bubbles, and they love it. And then with it being hot out here in Texas, okay, so this is still intact. The bubbles, they're not close, but... They're in like generic bottles, so that's kind of worrisome. But with it being hot out here in Texas, take the girls outside to the park or in the backyard and just shoot the bubbles around. I think it'd be pretty fun. Uh, okay, so there's a charging cable that just fell out. But this is what it looks like. So it doesn't look broken. It definitely looks cheap. Like I could probably make this with my 3D printer. Oh. Y'all hear that? So, it's already charged. So, I could probably just bubble it up right now. Uh, I'm going to ask my wife. Is well, I don't want to do that. I have so much equipment and guitars and stuff here that if I got bubbles on it, my wife might beat me. And she doesn't beat me. But she might. But, uh, yeah, I'm just disappointed that that package was broken. I'm just dropping stuff. I swear, guys, this is not my first video, but it's a lot going on here. I have no idea what these are, and I'm not going to use my teeth. But overall, with the haul, I think it's 50-50 shot. You know, you're getting very, very cheap discounted products that are more than likely less than par, but they're not secondhand for the most part. I don't think they're secondhand used. 
I just think that they were cheaply made and I do think the company is going to take an L because they probably cost more to make uh, to, to make and for them to buy than it did for us to sell and I think the, the strategy behind that is to get people <laughs> to get people <laughs> used to buying the products and then spiking the products prices up or getting some better tech in here I also got myself some some glasses some these don't look too bad but just something I can wear around like when we go out to beaches or out places if they break they break if they if they get lost they get lost they actually actually pretty nice I can't see myself in the camera but I do think that they they, they look nice and they really shade the light so kudos you know so I, I don't know how much these cost maybe three dollars four dollars but if I lose them I'm not gonna cry and if I break them on my big old head I'm not gonna be too sad so I think this is the last thing I have to open my safety people be safe and it's another pair of glasses so like I said I got everything that was pretty practical nothing too crazy uh, maybe next time I'll review something else if you have something you want me to check out and buy so you don't have to let me know those ones look better these are more plain though let's see they look a little small for your head no, that's okay these are kid glasses on a big fat head man but I look handsome I think if I don't whatever okay guys but that's gonna be it for the video uh, overall I think they're pretty decent I think for the best bang for your buck you're gonna get it here uh, compared to like the way wish was wish you may have something for maybe a day and then it's just crazy useless or it's broke this I might have it for a week so that's going to be it for the video guys i really appreciate you getting this far along uh if you have any questions comments or anything leave it down below anything you want me to buy let me know i will buy this stuff so you don't have to uh, but right now take the time to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video i right, guys i love you i'm eric we out Bye.